11,000 pounds basically on the nose. This is not something you see every day. Actually, what's funny is I've always liked this style of Cougar fifth wheel, and I ask myself every time I have the rare opportunity to see one, how was this not more popular, and how has this concept not continued to be popular in the RV industry? And I think the answer is because people didn't look close enough, because at a glance you go, oh, it's a Cougar toy hauler. No, it's not. It's a Cougar fifth wheel with an awesome living room and all the things you expect out of a Cougar, but with a built-in private rear deck. It's not a garage. In the same way, Arnold Schwarzenegger in kindergarten cop was like, it's not a Tumba. My answer to this thing is, it's not a hauler. It's just awesome. Now this rear patio deck is obviously one of the main focal points of the floor plan, so I do want to begin here. Um, the previous owner added their own TV to this thing back here, and uh, it's almost a shame they, they took it out when they brought it in because it really does a lot to fill up this wall and really complete the visual back here. But what I love is how it's like a full, true outdoor entertainment center. It's awesome back here. I love all this prep space, and I tell you what, everybody knows somebody at a campground that is the campsite bartender. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is absolutely one of those places I could see somebody maybe doing a little bit of entertaining for friends or, frankly guys, if you're just want, you want to have like a big family bacon and eggs, pancakes morning, this is electric griddle country right there. And I love the fact that you have that extra refrigerator out here so that you're not constantly tracking inside and outside just to like get a quick drink, you know, whether it's a barley pop or just a traditional bottle of water. Now we'll talk about this again later. But since this was made before uh, Toy Hauler Ramp Patio Systems had a readily available step system to let you get up and down off the patio deck, what I love Cougar did here is they added this extra entry door here. What It looks like a second entry door to the camper, and in point of fact, I suppose it could be. But its real purpose is to get you up and down the patio without having to trek dirt through the entire RV. Let's step inside. And this is really an instance, I feel, of like the best of both worlds. It gives you the big opposing uh, dual slides of a conventional Cougar living room, but with the extra tall ceilings and all of these glorious skylights just letting in a flood of light. So this thing looks and feels absolutely enormous because it has an absolutely enormous wide open living area. And if you look at the layout of this, it's not terribly dissimilar from something like a 327 rear entertainment Cougar. It does a lot of the same things and it also does a lot of those same things very well. We've got that trifold high to bed guest sleeper over there, although this is always used as a couple's rig. Electric heating fireplace with storage all around the entertainment center and a TV that can pivot out so that if you're sitting over here in the recliners, which can naturally also turn and pivot, you always have an easy view of the direct entertainment center. The only problem with this floor plan actually is it has so many windows that no matter where and how I point the camera, it makes the woodwork look artificially dark because there's such a flood of light coming in. Now, as I get a little closer, you start to see that nice, rich tone come out of everything. And you can also start to see how, like, all of our soft goods, like our furniture, they're not scarred up, they're not snagged up or anything. As I mentioned, this was used almost exclusively as a couple's camper. So what they did is they took the two chairs that are stacked up on each other on the right-hand side, and they just kind of stored them in the pasture. They got them out of the way. They unscrewed the table from the floor and moved it against uh, roughly next to the slide wall there. Now you could very easily move it back, but they gave it just a couple's dining arrangement. And if you get those two stacked up chairs out of the way, it gave these recliners more individual room to be able to turn directly toward the entertainment center. You may have noticed as I was panning around, there is a larger Max Air style vent fan up here. So you can get some really good anytime airflow, which is awesome if you have that living room to rear patio deck door open to get some great cross breezes through here. We have solid surface kitchen counters, and this thing has a tremendous kitchen space. You see you've got all kinds of drawers and cabinet space there below that stainless sink, but as we pan around and get back to the kitchen area prime, uh, you've got huge cabinets and drawer space there with additional uh, prep space before you even get over there to that what I'm gonna call the coffee bar, which also has a wine rack, so maybe it's just a little drinky station, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> also, easy reach outlets. There's outlets like anywhere you look around this kitchen, so everything is simple and easy to get to. And clean. It is like, 
the cabinets are gleaming. We didn't detail this. This is like the RV just landed here. This is exactly how the previous owners had it every single day. The Max Air vent fan does, of course, have a wall control switch, which is great. And our master control panel's hidden away here, which is nice. But the little touchscreen remote right here to be able to operate like uh, lights, fans, awnings, things like that, that is super handy for whether it's campsite setup or just once you're set up, general convenience. Porcelain foot flush stool, big, kind of like the kitchen. Anywhere you see counter space, you're going to see storage space below it. And since this has an extra large counter, it has extra large storage space. And then the preventative details, maybe it's not fancy looking, seeing that little piece of wood right there, but when you realize that the previous owners purposely cut that out to help support and lock in place that triple panel shower door uh, that, you know, uh, so that it's not going to bang around, you're not going to get into this seamless one piece molded fiberglass shower here and find broken bits of glass on the floor. It, they just made it simpler and easier. And that is a dual entry. So you've got the uh, door there straight from the bedroom or you've got one here from the hallway. But whether it's the bedroom door or the door to the rear patio deck, you have a uh, you know a, a window with some, some light pass through potential. Now speaking of which, they obviously did not want any light to pass through the uh, headboard windows because they actually put on top of the standard factory pleated sheets, a really heavy duty blackout cloth to make sure that if you slept in the way that I tend to sleep in, you're not gonna have light stabbing you in the eyes. Now you can see over there how you've got almost like a CPAP or just a bedside stand actually built into the closet, which is pretty common in fifth wheels. 60 by 80 queen. Now I'm looking at this. There's a gap on both sides of the bed. You might, might, squish a king into that. It's going to be close, but it might be possible. This RV has a single 15,000 BTU air. However, you see that there is that electrical junction box there. If you wanted to, you could update, upgrade this to include a second air here in the bedroom, which is something we can do for you here at Halo RV. Give us a call if you want a quote on that. All the original factory electronics, everything is still here, present and accounted for, and it is still stack, or pardon me, not stackable, combo washer dryer capable. And the previous owners even still have the two original carpet squares that Keystone shipped in this RV to help you clean your feet when you walked in the entry door. That pass through, spick and span, TV hookups, magnet holdbacks, the skin is gleaming. You saw there was that rear awning over the rear patio area, plus we have that main patio awning right here. I mean, it has everything a Cougar fifth wheel normally has. It just has that built-in extra deck space on the back. And it, you're gonna see like, uh, it'll really kind of hit home when we get up on the roof, but this was kept cleaned, conditioned. You, you can't find one that was given much better care, maintenance, ownership, and upkeep than this thing right here. Like if I get right down this thing, look at the, the mirror-like reflectivity on the fiberglass here. You can literally see the reflection of that uh, Cherokee Park model in the fiberglass of this. Now, of course, I dropped that one door. Let me see if I can get it open with one hand. Perfect. Show you that enclosed docking center right there with our outside shower battery disconnect. And this is, uh, you know, like seasonally rated for hot, cold camping with a forced air, heated, insulated underbelly. Jumping back to that rear corner again, once again, just very cool that you've got like a private personal rear patio party deck area, but then you have the very traditional open side, like, hey, come and visit, come say hi, kind of patio awning over here. And again, it kind of looks like a toy hauler. It's sort of what happens if you took the hauler out the hauler, but it's a, uh, it's a different kind of concept, but I love that it actually even has that second entry door straight directly to the patio area. Now, this was made before a lot of these uh, ramp patio kits offered any sort of steps of their own. So that second door right there that leads you directly to that little kind of rear convenience bar with that little mini fridge. You see the TV hookups. It lets you hop up and down with that, without having to walk through the entire RV. Again, it's just a very different and uh, I think very cool concept. I've always loved this thing. And especially this one, clean, well kept. I mean, auto leveling, it's got all the things except the new RV price tag. And that right there is exactly how a roof is supposed to look. Washed, cleaned, conditioned at least once a year. And they have obviously done it somewhat recently because it looks fantastic. You can also see while they were up here, they did a great job of keeping on top of their uh, seals. You can see where they have done a couple preventative, not reactive, but proactive touch-up seals, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. So 
<laughs> cool floor plan, excellent shape, fantastic care, maintenance, ownership, and upkeep. And maybe I'm biased, but I think uh, that the folks that we're selling this for here at Halet RV Brokers, uh, they're being pretty fair on their price tag. So whatever you need, guys, give us a call. We do it all. This is our consignment location where we sell RVs for people. And then we have Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, just down the street where we just do a whole lot more of all the same things. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.